Hey guys, welcome you all for today's webinar. So this is Raj from Cantus Associate Product Director. And today we are going to discuss a topic called everything about the OTP ad in sessions. So guys, I am just going to walk through uh, give a detailed walkthrough about how about the, the OTP ad in session, which is something playing a vital role when coming to the OTP. So today's agenda is uh, the, it starts with how about the new era of advertising, how that advertising is something grown up predominantly and the, the very uh, topics about that the ads and the OTP and as well as the difference between the vast and the VP and the complete overview of uh, server side ad insertions and dynamic ad insertion and then that the client side ad insertion so these things that we are going to see about uh, see overall that then the ad uh, types and the ad varieties here and of course the everything it would be uh, done via that i mean it can be possible via that video ad networks we are going to see a glimpse of that information support that too yeah okay so let's just get into our topic Fine. So the first and foremost is that the advertising. When coming to a OTT, you know, actually it is having a different types of monetization. Say it is an S word or P word, T word, and as well as the A word. Why the A word, which is something predominantly stand out, which is uh, why why it is being stand. That is a million dollar question. So thing is nothing but here you are providing a content. That content it can be a, a free, but anyways on top of it you are going to provide your own ads. So by the way you are going to get the monetization. When coming to this monetization, you know, I just want to uh, pitch a quick survey here. Survey, uh, especially according to a marketing report, 85% of content consumed over the internet by 2022, it would be a video. As a result, 96% of marketers have invested uh, over that ad spend. I mean, they are spending over that on the ad video. Out of that, even the 61% of people are planning to increase their budget. So. This is something, this particular one, it is going predominantly. So by the way, this ad, which is going to uh, play a vital role when coming to a OTT. So it's a quite interesting topic, right? Yeah. So the, the next one, it will be on a, uh, the, the, the various scope of ads. When coming to an ad, you know, actually you, you guys, everyone would know the ad, it is a very diversification topic. So it would start with text ad, banner ad, and image ad, non-interactive ad, interactive ad, and video ad. There are so many things are that. So here we are going to focus only on that, that video ads, especially the interactive and the non-interactive ad. When coming to that interactive or non-interactive ad, everything it would pass in that the category called the in-stream ad. So why it is called as the in-stream ad? The in-stream ad is nothing but the ad which is going to be played within a player. As you all know, when coming to OTT, the player which is the heart of that particular program. So each and every user who is going to start over the player. So at that point, we just want to draw the attention of the customer, draw the attention of the people based on the particular product. Say in case you just want to uh, promote your product, you just want to uh, I mean, advertise about your brand. So everything that, that is a particular medium or a portion where we could able to uh, leverage the place in order to show up your ads. So by the way, that instrument is nothing but it is also in the terms of a video ads. It is a playable ad. That playable ad, it is going to play over a player. And next one, which is something it can have a kind of a different type, say like pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll. By the name itself, it would suggest if that something going to be uh, initiated from the front end, obviously it is a pre-roll. And mid-roll, it's nothing but eventually you can just have a drops and uh, over that uh, the period of I mean a uh, movie. I mean either if you are having durations like a 30 minutes or 45 minutes of content or a movie, where you could eventually place this at, at the regular interval. So by the way, it is going to uh, I mean play the particular video and top of it is going to follow up with an actual content. And then the post roll is nothing but it is something that is going to be played at the end of the video, right? So yes, of course these are the something in stream ad. So next topic, this is something on the vast what do you mean by the vast say yes of course we've seen about the instream ad it is in a video ad so how we are going to produce the video ad that's a question so when coming to the video ad you know the vast which is uh, which is something it is an uh, important one and this vast which is something it is uh, kind of a the framework it is a kind of a the package which is something that has been developed by the iab framework if you look at the history, so as of now, we are standing at the version called 4.2. So it has been uh, emerged from the version 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this vast ad, which is nothing but it's a video ad serve template, that template is going to speak a same language what the video is going to be. 
So this particular one, uh, it is something it has been compatible with the player. When coming to a OTT, the major challenge here is that the different platforms and the different devices. Say a person X can have a, a, the iPhone X and the person Y can have a, a mobile uh, that Samsung and another person can have a TV. So here they are having a wide range of device, wide range of the platform, but everything it will uh, it is having a player. So this particular VAS, which is something in a compliance with this, all these players. So it is something compatible across all the players. So in order to play this, say that we need a kind of a SDKs or APIs. So once if you start, I mean, stick along with this particular framework, obviously you could be able to uh, get along with the video ad, right? So so the, when coming to an ad, so uh, by, 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 by uh, naturally it is having certain, I mean, that protocols here. So protocol is starting, but it's a kind of a framework, right? So the framework, it is having certain predefined uh, rules. Say if you are going to create an ad, so we have to define which ad to be played. So like uh, from which campaign it has to be and which ad it has to be played and which ad and when you are going to show up that particular ad which is an uh, skippable or not skippable and if the particular video is it's going to have an ad duration like uh, 30 seconds or two seconds and then whether if you want to click the i mean that uh, the particular uh, uh, video obviously it has to going to take uh, I, obviously it has to take the user to a specific page so all these things put it together we have to define it so this define for the, the defined uh, the vast ad which is available as an XML that XML it can be playable over any one of the player. So I mean player in the sense either it is an HTML5 player or either it is an uh, uh, HLS of the HLS player like uh, uh, JW or whatever it is. So everything it can be supported by this particular vast uh, and that I mean even the Roku TV even in the Samsung TV everything it would support with this vast ad. So as I told yes of course the latest version is the 4.2. In that 4.2 that they are, I mean, uh, uh, if you look at this version, uh, most of the people are, I mean, still uh, stick with a uh, version 3, which is something that's a quite popular one. And the 4.2, which is something it is having, a, I mean, more constant on the impressions. You know, when coming to add, what would be the next, uh, next? I mean, you are, you are uh, promoting your product, a product. So everyone is seeing the product. So next one is that you just want to see a performance of, of about your ad. So by the way, you need a tracking, you need a, a measurement, you need a verification. So those things that it is something concentrated on this 4.2. Yeah. So next one is in a V pay, V paid. So uh, many of the people that they will have a common terms like so V paid and the VAS, which is something it is in the same. Yes, of course, both are video ad, uh, both are it's going to play over the player, but still each and everyone it is something having a distinguished person personalities. One is that you know the video ad, the VAS, it is going to be play over the uh, player and in the and it is simply it is a non-interactive one. So you can't able to get it like so. Uh, how about the feel of the person and what do you want to uh, make your uh, viewer to proceed next? So those things that you can't be. Yes, of course there is a I mean, link you could able to provide a, a the clickable link. Through the clickable link you can uh, get along with a particular user, but out of that you can't do anything with that. So that particular purpose in order to um, I mean uh, place this in order to I mean. Uh, uh, positioning this, uh, this VPAD comes into a picture here. So the, uh, the VPAD is an interactive, it is a video player ad interface, it is an interactive one and it is a rich interactive. Obviously you would have also seen in the YouTube, if you are seeing that, uh, I mean, uh, randomly in the YouTube, you will be getting that uh, kind of a uh, survey, a short survey, a polls. So those polls that it is making the user to get it into a poll where you could able to click and you could able to select your own options. So that is a one kind of a interactive media. Next one is that obviously it will have a short form where you could uh, just give your name, leave your name, leave your information like email, so and so. So obviously, if you want to get some kind of an interactive medium, this VPAD comes into picture. So both VPAD and VAS, it can be integrated based upon their own SDKs. When coming to a SDKs, you know, uh, it has been uh, done with an ad network. So each and every ad network that they are providing that SDKs, obviously we have to integrate their SDKs to get it done. Okay, so put it all together. I just narrow it down the differentiation and this particular slide. If you look at this VAS, it, it can be creating a communication link between an ad server and the video player. So obviously in the video player, you are going to initiate the ad. 
it is going to call the uh, i mean the ad server by the way it is going to pull up the ad it is going to play so likewise in that beep it is also going to bring the ad in its uh, wherein uh, i mean uh, instead of that ad it is going to bring the ad in its here so likewise here this uh, the vas it will have a kind of xml right this xml it will mention like how to run how to play when to play how long to play those things it can be mentioned here and this particular one it is always about the interactive medium right so it will uh, uh, it can be pre programmed based upon this its own purpose say it is in a form or it is in a poll or it is something it is in a uh, like a, a simple uh, that the the questionnaire form so those things that it can pre programmed that so obviously vas also support all the instant videos and here vip also supports all this thing all the i mean all the uh insights about the videos and when coming to a publishers as a uh, people that they can just get along with the players here here that the marketer who just want to enable that they can go for it so on the final note so we have to take a call which one we want to i mean as a ott i mean that i mean provider we want to i mean take a, i mean take a call what type of ads which we are going to show it for our customers say it is a vas or a v paid or both vas and v paid yeah fine so next one the next topic which is something on that the ad insertion yeah so far we have just seen about uh, what is the types of ads are there how about the vast uh, which is something going to be performed and next one is that how we are going to insert the ad so when coming to inserting the ad so there are the main uh, main uh, i mean the insertion to be in a two types it can be false into a two type one is the server side and another is the client side when coming to a server side it's nothing but here you could able to uh, run a personalized ad it can be stitches along with an original content itself i would say say in case if you are seeing that the cricket or say if you are seeing any kind of uh, that uh, movie the uh, that uh, movie uh, like it uh, it could be whatever it is so this particular ad it is stitch along with that the video at the defined inter duration so by the way it can be shown as a single uh, request rather than like a csa so it, it, it is going to be happening from a server side so that's why it is called as a server side ad insertion and the next it would be like a dynamic ad insertion so people would also say like server side aka dynamic ad insertion so both is something uh, complement each other interact each other why in the sense the dynamic ad insertion is something but the first topic it would suggest the server is i mean the server side it's going to play an ad if you are going to play ad obviously you have to do some personalization personalization is a vital role we are right say if you are running in that ipl so by the way we are having a demographics it's going to come into a picture the geolocation comes to a picture say in case if the dhoni is coming to play obviously you will be getting a more traffic so at this point so you have to come up with a brand who is going to pay much more so that personalization the who is a person who is seeing that who is a target audience who, what is the age belongs to so based on that this dynamic ad insertion it comes into a picture so by the way you could able to personalize based upon the geolocation demographics so and so so fine so here we see like how it is going to be i mean sir i mean yes of course we seen about that server side and dynamic uh, ad insertion how it is going to be how we are going to stitch the ad so that is a question right say that the video content which is something from a uh, like a server x and ad content which is something from a server y obviously it would be in a different period where and how we are going to stitch that's a that is a million dollar question here so when coming to that the server side i mean so you know either it is the vod streaming or live streaming obviously we are going to stream it once it's been streamed it has to comes into an encoding part and after the encoding part it has to getting into a transcoding stage in that transcoding stage we have to put one more channel where we have to uh, i mean uh, insert the ads here so by the way it's not about the ads here we are going to bring up the queue marks the queue mark is nothing but where in which particular position are a play you want to when coming to cricket as you all know right for each and every end of the over i just want to play two ads and in case suppose if it is dynamically in the sense if the particular wicket goes on i have to pull this particular ad so those particular marks we have to i mean uh, merge it with a uh, live streaming or also video streaming we have to put it on those things it can be correlated automatically through a transcoding so by the way it is going to be comes to a next stage which is called as the ad sitting server in that ad sitting server it will just pull the i mean the the i mean it's all about the manifest so you know i, I guess so that the audience uh, most of the audience would know about the manifest here so the manifest is nothing but uh, here in a player which we are i mean running either that hls or else a dash right so if it is an hls obviously all you guys know everything it can be driven through a manifest so that manifest it will have a sequence of videos here that i can show up here 
so sequence of videos say like file chunk 1 chunk 2 chunk 3 so after the transcoding obviously everything it can be split into a transportable uh, streams based upon the presets Let's say like 720p 1080p 2k or 4k so obviously that the, we are going to uh, uh, i mean insert the placeholders so based upon the placeholder it is going to getting into a the server side network the server side network it is going to replace this placeholder with an ad so on the world we will be getting it right so this particular diagram it will give you in a very detailed way i, I it will i i just mentioned like what would be the step by step approach say as i mentioned uh i mean before so the streaming it would start from either it's a live or vod right it is going for a transcoding and here you will getting a q mark and this is called a sct 35 or 105 there are two types are there actually sct 35 is something but it is in a uh, broadcast ad break protocol this ad break protocol which acts as a queue and the framework whatever you are going to use like vast or vpad you could able to i mean the particular medium it's it's going to be understand this particular uh, mark queue mark where it is to be how it is to be so we are going to i mean merge it here so by the way it is having a modified manifest file which i mean that uh, the, this is the kind of a original manifest file this virtual manifest file it will getting into a s3 why it is an s3 it's nothing but it's in a I mean since we are sticking with an aws i mentioned the s3 bucket and it is going for on a cdn so you know actually as the end customer i'm going to just watch it over the player so the player comes into the picture it is in a fourth stage from the fourth stage it is going to start to download obviously at least in the sense the player which is having intelligence uh that you are going to play it's all about the manifest manifest is the master here so the, from the manifest it will just fetch the details like what within a language uh, whether it is having a subtitle or whether it is having any closed captions and uh, how about the chunk it started to play as such so it's once it is started to play as such obviously you will get a chunk that it is in a uh, ad chunk that ad chunk which is something it's going to send a request to the ad cdn this ad cdn in turn it will go for on a vast ad server so next one here it is an ad switch service which is something it is going to play a vital role here this ad switch service is nothing but here it's going to request and it is going to get the independent break duration what would be like say 10 seconds or 15 seconds or 20 seconds so those things that it is we have to be uh, we have to send these details to a, this particular service this service it is going to merge this ads plus the video something but it's going to replace it so by the way it it's going to generate the modified manifest file. Already we are having a original manifest file where it is having a placeholder. As of now, we are having a modified manifest file. It is having a real ad. So, uh, so on the whole, it is having a single request, right? So this single request, it will just go into a player. The player started to play. So by the way, uh, everything, if, if it is something, if you look at the broadcast like in a TV, so same thing that you could have a same field when coming to a OTT. You could be able to see them. Uh, I mean, the uh, the content along with that it's going to play. Uh, I mean, uh, it is going to play for a uh, viewer experience. So this is how the server side answers ad insertion workflow. I mean, I did it. It will work, guys. So next, it will be. I'll just. I mean, uh, copy some snippet in order to give you a better understanding. And I mean, so how about the manifest here? So it is a kind of a snippet, right? So in the snippet, you could see these are the header. And this header here, you could be able to see the key out. Key out and the key in it's something, but it is an, uh, a hard break. I mean, it's the boundary. So through that boundary, you could be able to define it. See, if you look at this, these are all the TS files. These TS files are nothing but it is a placeholder. And this is going to equivalently play, I mean, replace with this particular, uh, I mean, the, the dynamic ad insertion URI. So it is in a since it's a dynamic ad insertion, it will have this like this going to replace it. Uh, uh, I mean during that uh, the ad switching service. So three, it is going to be I mean paste with this particular one. I'll uh, ask like four, it can be replaced with these things. So on the wall after that you will be having like after that six, you will be having that seven and eight. Seven and eight, it's an MP4. Even you can also have like a, I mean that M three eight format. So it's all about uh, what's the kind of a protocol which we are using for a uh, conversion. So these things it can be replaced, and the I ideally this modified manifest file which comes into a place to play a video. Okay, yeah. So this this is something how the Google DI you know when coming to the dynamic ad insertion the Google uh, program 360 which is a, which is a very big player actually. Okay, so this is how that particular one which is something working on. Say it is going to initiate the stream request. It is going to get the stream ID, and obviously it is going to get the metadata. And after the metadata, it is going to request a stream. That stream it is going to send the request for an a content CDN. So by the way, it is going to get this information here. 
and then so this particular when ad media is required it is started to get the stream id along with an request ad segment from ad cdn and then it started to play overall so the ad media verification is nothing but obviously uh, we are going to verify how the ad is going to be played and of course uh, here we are going to see about that uh, the ad performance that ad tracking overall the ad insertion so those impressions you could able to get it yeah so this is nothing but this is the, the die i mean that uh, the parts i just copied the parts here so you know about the part part it's nothing but when coming to that google program 360 degree so when it is in a vast like a client side you will be having a pub box i mean it is in a, a double click ad when you coming to a, a the part it's, it's it's a kind of a container that container it will have either one ad or, or one to many ads say that particular part it is having a uh, i mean uh, uh, like uh, add, uh, I mean, add duration of 10 seconds, add duration of 20 seconds, add duration of 30 seconds. So put it all together, you can create one part here. That part is comes into a picture rather than playing a each individual ad. These things it can be put into a container. The container which is called as the ad part. So this is how that ad part is something it's going to uh, play actual ad. Fine, yeah. So we have just, I mean, I mean, uh, see about that. I mean. Uh, uh, so said ad insertion next would be the client side ad insertion i i guess uh, most of the people i mean who are all i mean uh, the particular uh, this session i would say most of the people according to me they would know something and describe the ad insertion this is nothing but the person who i mean in fact with the google ad manager they would know about it so this client ad insertion is uh, uh, it's, it's nothing but it's going to play an ad uh, from a different i mean as, as i told uh, earlier the vast sector comes into a place okay uh, with the ad it's going to play uh, the, the request which is something uh, send it to a uh, ad CD wherein if you are having actual content the actual content send the request to a, uh, the video I mean the video CD so both these things it is having a different request so this by by the way uh, this uh, it is also having an ad marker and this ad marker which is something comes from the vast ad server and it is something pre-programmed with an I mean vast XML. That XML, as I said, it will have all the tracking information and clickable information, duration, everything it would be there. And this it is going to play a like uh, I mean something is going to be uh, pull the source from a ad server. And <coughs> sorry, yeah. So by the way, you could also able to get the playback and the complete rates and the error rate, everything it can be captured in that in your ad network, whether you are going to use that Google ad manager or either it is on like a kind of ad push up or a spot X or whatever it is. Yeah. So next is a Google ad and say CSA. I just want to stick something particular with the Google so that I could able to connect with you guys easily. So as you guys have come up, have came across this Google ad. So when coming to a Google ad, you know, we are going to create a campaign, right? So yeah, I'll just show you, I mean, the quick internet. Yeah, so this is the Google Ad Manager, right? So in this Google Ad Manager, here we are maintaining the entire inventories. So the in inventories, you can just create an order. So you can create a line items. So in that line items, you can just create the creatives. I mean, what are the videos that you want to put it? So everything that you could able to add it in the vast creatives here. So likewise, you can able to define either it's a native ad or whatever it is and delivery tool. Obviously, it is going to mention what type of channel you are going to stick to be. Say in case if you are going to have an in-stream, out-stream ad, you can just get it. So by the way, in that inventory, you could able to create your own ad units and this ad units, it will have a kind of information. I mean, they depends upon your, uh, I mean, uh, uh, say, uh, you know, actually uh, this ad manager, Google ad manager, it encourages, you can, it encourages the user to add their own uh, I mean source of uh, I mean net ad network say that you could also pull from that uh, ad push up you can also pull from ad X or else if you want you can upload your own video that particular uploaded video ad it will it will just have a kind of uh, I mean uh, it, it is going to be subject into a transcode according to a presets that mezzanine file it can be converted to so on the whole you are going to just get those informations there I mean you could be able to create the ad ad in it and you can create the creatives and you can make it everything and after that there will be a video shoot inspector through this video shoot inspector you could be able to just generate the final output which is called as the xml that xml which is something look like this one so this is what the the the, the, the end product of that the, the client said was that by the way you could be able to put it in the vast uh, I mean that inspector tool here 
in the by the tool you could copy and paste and you could able to validate it so uh, this, uh, this way you could able to generate and you could able to validate by the way that generated i mean that xml that you can able to copy it over in your player and you can start to play over it okay yeah so i just mentioned the i mean uh, with, the, with, the, with the same diagram here so the same thing it, 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 this is happening in the client side workflow so it would start with a video i mean the request from a player it will go for an ad server and then the wrapper is there wrapper is going to validate uh, the version it's going to validate who is the source and i mean that app key i mean obviously it has to be a stk right or stk or apa everything it can be validated in the wrapper itself after after that it will just go for an ad server and then it will just go for a vast inline as i have uh, shown before where you could able to create a different campaign and then you can able to create the different ad units and inventory and it's going to pull up that particular one and that vast inline it's going to send the vast xml to a player and finally once if the particular play i mean uh, video is something played you could able to uh, see the tracking here okay yeah fine see we have so far we have seen about uh, what is a was and how, how about the video i mean like a server side insertion and the uh, client side insertion the next one is that uh, the video ad network this, this is going to play a vital role the thing is that why why this is the question see i say i mean the programmer if, if you ask me so some of my customers asking me like we just want to uh, i mean bring that the ads here i mean add in that sense was that that the dynamic playable ads so if you're going to playable ads obviously we have to sign up with the networks see one thing is that you if you are having i mean like enter ecosystem like you are having your ad server and you are having your ad i mean the cdn and you are having everything in some put in a place obviously you could able to pull it up but you know many of the people they 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 doesn't want i mean they they are not aware of about that uh, i mean how we are going to be how we are going to pull it up but they just simply need the vast ad at this point we have to go with and this video and ad networks this video ad networks it's something it's going to help both the publishers and the ad advertisers here so by the way they acting as a bridge between these people according to me i am a ott provider so by the way i would consider myself as an a publisher if the person comes like say uh, another person comes here the person who is having a product he just want to endorse his own product so that person who is called as advertiser so he is having a bankable uh, the ads so i am having a place where i could able to showcase so in order to make these people i mean align together so this video and network comes into a place so by the way you know actually some of the other i mean that the relevant ad farmers customers journey everything that it can be draw i mean drive through this video ads actually and i'll just uh, open up this one sorry so i just i mean put uh, i mean that these are all the i mean that uh, i mean popular uh, vendors i mean coming to the video ad networks yes there are so many players are also there we could able to get it i mean you can able to search it with this particular ad publisher which is something having a uh, i mean uh, certified publishers with uh, google okay so out of that i just pulled up only that the video ad network which is called as the google 360 so this uh, video ad network uh, i mean that been coming to this video ad network you know uh, the google is offering like a google ad manager uh, it's a different program and then it is having another program which is called as a google 360 and it is having another program which is called as a google 360 degree advance so likewise it is having a so i mean the three different segment and you know right if you look at the youtube i mean if you, if you are watching any other content obviously you are getting an ad that ad it is something having a personalization obviously based upon your recent browsing history or either it is something based upon the demographics and this dynamic ad which is something coming there so how it is coming it's it, this is it's all about that this google 360 degree uh, comes into a picture here so this particular if you want to enroll with a google 360 you can't do it directly that they are having certain benchmarks that certain they are having certain kind of a, i mean that uh, uh, i mean the points that it has to be satisfied as a ott player so as a game as i told so that they are expecting like something like a 90 million monthly impressions for your video ad units and of course uh, it, it is something it is a 200 million monthly impression for a non ad units so likewise that they are expecting that there are any certain expectations but anyhow we could able to tie up with our publishers so by the way we could able to sign up as an vendor and we could able to pull it off so yeah, and one more thing this google 360 which is something it is a paid one but even though it is a paid one if you get the kind of a account and obviously you could able to get more information more information in the sense obviously like i mean uh, 
the uh, how, I mean that advanced level of tracking, advanced level of information about the demographics, how about the impressions, quick information. So everything that it is something it has been programmed in this Google 360. Yeah. Okay. So yes, of course, uh, this Google 360 is going to play a vital role coming to an ad network. So guys, so far we discussed about like how about uh, videos. I mean video ad and how about it is going to be I mean uh, programmed by a vast ad and how this vast ad is going to be stick with a uh, dynamic ad insertion or a server side ad insertion and if so how we are going to uh, make this as a uh, playable through this SSAI and the DAI and if it is something going to play how this network comes into play so put it all together I just I mean uh, gave you overall the bigger picture here so yeah that's it from my side uh, guys so do you have any questions yeah so that there are questions are there maybe get this ppt at the yes of course you could able to get that end of the session so our i mean uh, we are i mean we are the marketing team that they will just provide you overall this i mean recorded video along with this ppt yeah please provide me on my email actually i am not able to take this session okay i will provide it yeah okay how can we get the recorded video a recorded video obviously uh, it will be i mean published uh, in our uh, linkedin uh, forum where you could able to get it from that yes yes ppt yes of course any questions team what is the differentiation between ssa and the i i told it right uh, the server side ad insertion when coming to a server side ad insertion so the ad it is uh, uh, stitched along with the original content and by the way it would record the DA why it record the DA in the sense it is a dynamic by the name itself it would suggest dynamic ad insertion how we are going to get the dynamic that is a question so it, it's all about the personalization so uh, in case if you are going to see a particular program obviously based upon your browsing history or you are uh, based upon your demographic that uh, dynamic ad insertion it will just pull the uh, the the uh, the information from an audience player from the audience player it will just send it to a SI, SSAI in turn SSAI it it has been programmed or it has been configured with a different ad network so you know uh, if if you look at the bigger picture here say like a uh, 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 IPL so where we are having a different um, ad site each and every uh, ad uh, network it will uh, it, it is having a campaign so that campaign it is also running based upon the bidding campaign. So that bidding campaign, the dynamic ads, it can be pulled off and, and then it will be finally stitched with this SSAI and it will be show up here. So SSAI is something but it is a stitched ads along with a single video in a single service request, but it needs a dynamic personalization. It can be pulled off here, via yeah, die, 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 yeah. Good, so this session was very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, guys. How can we insert SCT queues into a video? That is a very good question. Yeah, SCT it's something but you know, as a, I mean, if you look at my, uh, the, I mean, one of my uh, workflow die design. So where we are having that encoder, right? So after that, I mean, you are uh, you are getting one one channel. It would be like you are getting a VOD from uh, another channel, which is something it is called as an ad queue markup. That this ad queue markup, which is something we have to put a separate service from a service. We have to send this as an input to a transcoder. So for a transcoder, you will be getting an input from one input from a video, actual video, another uh, input from a uh, the video ad service. So through this, uh, this transcoder is going to blend it and it is going to uh, give a manifest file. That manifest file, it will have this information. And yeah, good. okay, thanks. Wonderful session. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, according to you, which solution? Yeah, I would say, see, it's all about the case to case, right? I just uh, explained to you. I mean, if you ask me what would be the ad solution better in the sense, I would say, I, I will just give you one information. Just a second. Yeah. Say if uh, I'll just go with the uh, pros and cons. If it is something, if you are stick with an SSAI, according to me, it will give you the pros. Pros, it's something will broadcast like ad experience. You will be getting it. And you know that it is something it can be protected with an ad blocking. 
whenever when coming to uh, i mean that if you are going to uh, run a uh, i mean uh, the the programs in your uh, browser obviously the many of the people are having ad blocking script that ad blocking script it simply wipe out your ad so at this point we are putting uh, so much of efforts but this ad blocking is going to simply wipe out that wipe out it can be done with an ai obviously it is something stitched it right so it can be and then it is uh, easier on the client side as well so that it is something when coming to the i mean uh, con i mean the cons if you ask me the cons for thai i would say the manifest caching problem i mean be, uh, you know uh, everything it will be done with a manifest so uh, if you look at the player inside the player the player will starts with a show up that the video it's all about the manifest say here we are just updating the manifest at, at, at one point so at that point the cackable manifest it would take some time so it's a but however we could able to achieve it with a uh, cdn uh, different edges but anyway that is one of the uh, main concern and of course complex backend solution this server side ad insertion it would demand a uh, more uh, backend kind of activities when coming to a client side i would say the client side here uh, this latency latency in the sense you are going to get, i mean uh, when that there are two requests uh, there one request is a video content request another is another is something but from a ad which is going for a bash ad server in case if the request which is something delayed from a bash ad server obviously it is going to uh, i mean uh, i mean it is going to affect the user experience this latency this buffering and the as i said already the ad blocker so these are all the things which is something comes under the uh i mean cons of i mean uh, i mean the concerns of uh, csei so obviously it's uh, we have to take a call here based upon our customer so which one we want to be so csei according to me we could able to i mean uh, implement within a couple of days for ssa obviously it would need an echoes ecosystem and it would uh, something need an i mean uh, i mean backed up with a very good infrastructure to make it a play as an a uh, very good one Okay, is the stage that is standard? Okay, uh, screen material. Okay, is the OTT ad market is going expensive? Yes, of course, OTT ad market is going very, very predominantly. It is and a very big. If you, if you look at this in this Google Ad Manager forum and all, you could able to realize it. So it is something it is going up as as like as such. Is so OTT mad market okay? At what stage of life cycle of the band growth should OTT be considered? Yeah, very good question. Very good question. See, uh, you know uh, why we are going for an OTT? OTT in the sense you are having a uh, main content. You just want to uh, make it as an uh, viable to your own uh, users. I mean to your own customers. At this point, you can't be able to do it. I mean uh, as an a uh, free right? Uh, you can go with a premium at one point. We have to convert it into a different stage. Different stage in the sense. obviously you will you you, have, you would have got uh, i mean uh, a certain amount of customers say like 2k customers 3k customers now at what point you just want to monetize it when coming to a monetization first of all people reluctant to pay for a subscription until or unless you are a very good player say if you consider about hotstar say if you consider about netflix there are no second that the people will go directly and they can go for a subscription but at some point you have to uh, allow your people to see and uh, digest your content in order to digest your content you have to give a space where people are able to see that see it as a free of cost so at this point you could able to pull this monetization so it's a step by step approach as a customer as a person you have to take a call say in case if i'm having a good amount of user i can decide either for subscription or still if the people are reluctant you can have a, a same media it can be broadcasted along with an uh i mean ads so by the way for, through ads you could able to pull it but question is uh whether you need a csa or ssa i would say if you are a beginner i would say better stick with the csa or dsp in ssp yes dsp and ssp according to me it would be in a different topic and even if you ask me if you if i'm going to explain again it's going to take a, i mean one more session but i'll just come up with a detailed session for this uh, dsp and ssp ad blocker extension in chrome how do we push out the play in our ad player if you add extension youtube or so sony won't play ads that's what i told right say if it is in a youtube or arts or 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 else sony list those people are doing with an ssa ad if it is an ssa ad obviously you it, you can't be able to block it uh, 
uh, with either one of your uh, browser uh, ad blocker but still in csa also we could able to achieve it but still you know the extension which is something growing up on a daily basis so we can't able to give a, a solution uh, for uh, each and every ad blocking rather you can stick with an ssa if you don't want to block obviously you can stick with an ssa okay how can we insert sctq mark into a video already i mean i discussed i guess i already mentioned it is it possible to use both css and exo player instance at the same time will it make any conflict yeah it's also a very good question mm, yes of course this is something the player right player According to me, EXO player or HTML5 player, if it's a CSAA, obviously we are giving that the VAST ad. The VAST ad is not mean it is an XML one, right? So that XML one, it's going to play it. So by the way, while uh, you are going to provide a manifest, that manifest is the one it is going to play the movie along with a video ad. So if it is in a CSAA, the movie, I mean the manifest, it doesn't have uh, any, uh, I mean, uh, any uh, file chunks corresponding to a Add. but wherein if you are sticking with an SSEI, obviously it is adding a combination of both uh, I mean, ad file and as well as the actual movie file. Answering to your question, yes, it is possible, we can have it, but anyway, while integrating, it will have some kind of, I mean, that uh, for inter while doing an integration, we have to do some kind of a customization. So the show that it is no second thought in that. Is there any specific change on DFP if you're using HP? Yes, of course, yes. That there are some certain changes are there if you are using a SV, HEVC. Yes, yes. Okay, and how would this integrate with an existing terrestrial or satellite broadcaster for what infrastructure needs to be placed in a client dynamic administration? So this is also a very good question. See, uh, but for this question, I would say better uh, we can have a I mean one-to-one -one call, but any of this is a forum I could just brief something so that uh, other people can also get it like what it is something there what it is something how would this integrate with an existing terrestrial or satellite broadcaster see even if it is a celestial broadcaster you are going to tied up with an uh, ad network or ad i mean ad programmer and um, programmer sense ad vendors that right the similar ad vendors that you are going to uh, have a tie up uh, through this uh, i mean the certified publishers so by the way you could be able to get the streaming ads from the same server uh, nowadays, you know, either it is in a, like a TV uh, broadcasting or either it is in a, uh, I mean, OTT, like, uh, I mean, uh, OTT broadcasting, I mean, internet broadcasting. So the ad server now it's capable of provi providing the ads for these two things. So obviously we would record a, a, I mean, very good high and I mean, highly operatable CDN. That CDN, it is something capable of, uh, I mean, uh, pushing the ads. If so, we could able to get it. Thanks, it is very informative. Thank you, thank you, guys. So, as I say, it's capable of supporting individual targeting or group targeting. Yes, yes, uh, it, it, yes, it's both. I would say one more, one. I just want to, I mean, give one more concept. This is something I just learned it from, uh, I mean, Artstar. I just, I mean, cooked up something. I mean, now they are the Artstar is doing with this particular IPL. See, you know, when coming to a IPL, uh, it is uh, getting the millions of uh, millions and millions of customers. As I said already, if Dhoni is going to play, obviously at this point you will be getting more users. And especially at the death over, you will be getting more users, right? So at this point, that, that, there will be a, a targeting, it will be going to be increased. So that uh, in that position, how the arts are that they are doing a sense, they are having a hold. Hold is the demand that they are grouping it. Uh, group based upon the location in turn that they are grouping uh, like a uh, one to uh, 50 customers uh, 50 to i mean not customer one to 50 connections and 50 to 100 connections like this they are grouping it so for each and every group that they are having a control in turn they could be able to uh, i mean check what is in a personalization i mean geolocation based upon the geolocation they are just pulling up the ads here so that the concept which is something called as the ho or the hot that the hot plays a role when coming to a group targeting so that it is something useful as like as i told in the ipl can we use a multiple sct in one program uh, i guess it would be but anyway i just want to ensure it what's the difference between sct and sct 120 as i told you right so both are uh, something the ad markers so when coming to ad view marker sct it is in a uh, uh, i mean official uh, the official uh, ad break even and sct 128 which is something this is going to make a add out say if you are going to i mean uh, run an ad you need a market and as well as once if the ad is going to be closed you need a kind of a market in order to mention that it is closed so that is the difference actually 
in india we have a programmatic demand for live shows what it is yes of course yes of course how can we insert a cte in vod content i i already explained this one guys yeah explained it already please recommend links to study yes of course sure i'll share this links how do we add a vds mpeg dash chunk file how do we add add yeah this is this is simple as such what we are doing with an hls see it's all about transcoding when coming to transcoding we are setting the presets in the presets we are going to set the uh, template in the template you are going to give a instruction in that instruction you are going to mention what it is an output either it is an hls or either it is in a dash so likewise you are going to mention it in that uh, you have to create a one more job in the pipeline so it's all available in the pipeline right in that pipeline you have to create one more job that job it is going to pull the ad that 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 is going to be digestible and it is going to be available as an a manifest file yes of course what we are going to do with an hls the same thing that you could able to achieve with an impact dash as well if you want more information uh, you could check with an google uh, i mean uh, ad manager 360 even if you want i can also share that particular uh, i mean that uh, that material in that material you could see how we are going to make that dash as an a chunk files along with an ad video Will GAM 360 compatible for HTTP? Yes, of course, yes, yes. What has been the uptake of client-side dynamic and insertion solution by a publisher? What has been uptake of client-side? Uptake in the sense, I would say, uh, dynamic ad insertion for client-side, so that is also can be done. But you know, uh, in the client-side, uh, even uh, we are running a different campaign, right? Uh, in uh, in that my in, in in one of my statement, I mentioned the what is the pros of uh, client said client said it's all about dynamic you could be able to gauge the audience by the way you could be able to uh, send the vast ad right in that vast ad already it's been programmed so you could be able to change the ads directly so by the way you could be able to personally see so by the way i would say dynamic ad insertion which is something uh, which is something good enough when coming to a ssi while comparing with csai what does the uptake okay i i i reply how does your solution integrate the recommendation engine view data collection systems to provide this yes of course we are also having our own systems and this particular ssai it is something it as i told it is a very very big ecosystem it would demand of different components yes we are having experience and we are having expertise in this particular area yes of course if it is something needed we will have a separate discussion and we can discuss about it i i better i will just pull up our business team as well here yeah. can we add a manifest chunk files with a fair play yes suppose we could have, we could have added we could have added fair play yeah fair play very good very good question yes of course yeah guys see uh, one of the concept here is that uh, the chunk file it's all about i mean when coming to a i mean that uh, transcoding it is in a job template in the job template we have to provide uh, instructions out of that one more instruction which is called as the drm obviously if you are going to provide the drm as one of the instruction either if you want you can also go with an as128 otherwise you can also stick with an drm yes through the drm you could be able to uh, make it as a blendable manifest file it is obviously you are going to protect your content yeah explain bit more on the ssi caching and ott live use case how 5 million users are requesting for this manifest simultaneously uh explain bit more shall we have a, i mean separate discussion on this you know for this i just want to i mean put a very detailed framework where i could able to uh, show i mean as what i studied something from that uh, uh, how that art story is doing i could have just get more information so that we can have a uh, i mean a different session especially in order to deal how 5 million users are coming how it is going to be whether it is in 5 million or 10 million let's have a separate discussion on this This is a timeline to create a complete OTT solution with this recommendation in data collection, dynamic organization from scratch. Ah, uh, so uh, this is something. It is a high-level question according to me. Any of that we are having a certain systems in our place already. So I would say, uh, I mean, you can just, I mean, interact with our business team. So by the way, they will just, I mean, uh, give you the proper, I mean, directions so that uh, you could able to get that the timeline. Timeline in the sense, I can't able to say within a single, I mean. Uh, as such, I can't able to say. So this is something that we have to uh, sit and we have to discuss a separate session. But I would, as I uh, told, we are having expertise already. We are having an existing system, the deep plate, at least in our already workable solution. So we will discuss uh, detail the requirements, and obviously we will provide the timeline. Good. So far, I answered. 
okay is swiped network based cdn streaming or location based cdn streaming okay is network based streaming or location based streaming see when coming to a cdn i would say it's all about the edges right say uh, if you are going to get it for an i mean i mean apac so for, from that we are going to create an edges whereas if you are going to get for an uh, i mean us based uh, i mean the western countries where we are going to create the edges so by the way we could able to set it up the streaming based upon the location as well so if you ask me as of now we are sticking with an uh, aws ecosystem where uh, we have been uh, associated i mean integrated that our cdn uh, i mean uh, with the uh, cloud i mean uh, cloud net and as well as we are also having with atomic we are having both this i mean uh, cdn service actually how add prefetch parameter help us here add prefetch parameter prefetch parameter i would say it's all about something uh, i mean uh say um, if you want something it has been uh, uh give that instructions prior to a player obviously that that particular one that we could able to it with this prefetch parameter prefetch in the sense suppose before fetch what are the parameters that you are going to share it say in, I, I would say uh, the csa right and the csa i am having that public ad i mean that sorry the, the double ad that double ad uh, you could able you, you will have a certain params there that params it is going to mention what kind of a, i mean add which you are going to mention, i mean get it so by the way you could able to add your options uh, i mean uh, one of the options in this uh, prefetch as one of the parameters yeah any questions team so we are running out of time so we are having a few more minutes uh and further we will just go through once again these questions so out of that i already i mean mentioned one or two topics that it is something demand uh, separate uh, webinar so that way i'll just i mean discuss with the team so that we'll just come forward with that particular topic if it is something it is having i mean much more interesting and if it is something much more demanding then obviously we coming uh, come up with an, another webinar here. okay yeah guys so as far as i just checked some of the questions which is something related to uh, i mean that business side i would appreciate please contact our business team so you know you are having our i mean that we played just show our site yeah so here you could be able to i mean uh, i mean contact our sales team uh, even if you want you can also request a demo to our team so our team that we are i mean that they are coming i mean that they will just i mean provide you uh that the right directions so that you could be able to uh, yeah so by the way so this is our official website so here you could go so by if you want to contact our sales team you could able to contact so they will just guide you uh, in the proper direction so that uh, you know uh, you could able to i mean uh, sign up uh, if, if there are any other business requirements yeah thanks team so thanks thanks we had a very wonderful session so uh, i just see i mean lot lot more i mean that uh, informative questions so hope that i have answered almost so, so thank you dim thank you thank